To me, the Northern Territory feels like one of the last wild places left in the world. My work takes me across these vast landscapes, and out here you've got to get used to being by yourself. I'm John Daly and I'm based in the NT town of Catherine, which is about 300 kilometres south of Darwin. My office is here at the local visitor centre, and I'm going to take you inside for a bit of a look around. So, this isn't my office. This is it here. I'll, uh, the office space and I'll introduce you to the team. No one. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just me here. <laughs> Today, I'm on the road to the remote community of Wad Air. So I'm the only ABC reporter for hundreds of kilometres. It's a pretty unique job that involves a lot of dusty driving the landscape is beautiful, but it's bloody hot and unforgiving if I get into trouble. So I do risk assessments that have to get approved, and I also carry a hell of a lot of water and my sat phone. My first stop is the remote outstation of Woody Kapildea to talk about a bush food business picking native kakadu plum to sell to the superfood market. The future plan is to find markets for other native fruits and provide full-time work for locals. There'll be greenhouses set up, so uh, we'll be picking, picking fruit. Uh, we'll be uh, propagating and planting seeds uh, in greenhouses. Then we'll be taking them out in the field also to, to grow as well. My final stop on this trip is Wad Air, about 240 kilometres southwest of Darwin. It's one of Australia's largest remote Indigenous communities and about 2,500 mostly Aboriginal people call this place home. I'm gathering local stories for an outside broadcast on ABC Radio. It's uh, five minutes to four o'clock and I'm getting up extra early to uh, set up for the rural report. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. a butcher before and during my journalism studies at university and I've been with ABC Rural for about three years now. The Rural Report. G'day, John Daly here broadcasting live from Wad Air this morning. So what did you say, more than 10 years of having it in the fleet, it's probably, uh, you know, you probably want to I want to see it go to a good home. You're listening to John Daly on The Rural Report, live from Wad Air. It is 20 past six. Yeah, good morning. I'm Mark Krug. I'm a ranger with the Summerall Rangers here. We're coming to you live from Wad Air on The Rural Report. Today, I'm talking to rangers about a new carbon abatement project across the Daly River Land Trust. Rangers across the region are doing early burns to prevent big, destructive wildfires. And eventually they'll earn an income from carbon credits. We need, like, creating more jobs for other art stations, community, like more ranges and to work at country, you know, like get them at bush. Dominic, what do you love about this job? And give my experience, like, show, show them a little Kids now, like when they're finishing school, and will be end up teaching them. I started this job in regional WA before moving up to the territory earlier this year, and you've really got to be a jack of all trades up here. In any given day, I film for TV, I get on the radio or I write articles. But it's the variety that I really love about this job. Being able to explore these remote communities gives me a better understanding of the complexity of modern Australia. It's a privilege to be a rural reporter in the North.